Hello, my name is Julie Kevill and I'm a numeracy specialist at Middlesex University. This tutorial is about calculating volumes for injection. Here's a typical nursing calculation of this type. A patient has been prescribed 50 milligrams of pethidin for injection. The stock strength available is 100 milligrams in one mil. How many mils do you give the patient? You can see that I have colour coded the important bits of information in this question so that you can see where they will go in the formula to solve this. First of all, the information about the patient, what the patient requires, comes first. P for patient. Then we have the information about the stock strength available. And then we have the information about the number of mils that the drug has been dissolved in. And our final answer, of course, if we're going to give an injection, has got to be in mils. So now you can see where the numbers go. The patient has been prescribed 50 milligrams. The stock strength is 100. And notice how the milligrams and milligrams line up. There should be milligrams here and milligrams here. And finally, we're told that the drug is in one mil. Fifty times one is just fifty. So really, we're just looking at fifty divided by one hundred. And here, I can use the principle of dividing by 100 is the same as moving the decimal point back two places. So this is where the decimal point will start, and it will go back one, two places. And so my final answer will be 0 0.5 mil. Notice how this zero has dropped off at the end. It doesn't mean anything. And notice how we put a zero at the beginning to avoid any confusion. OK, let's look at question number one. Remember, we need to use the formula. So the patient has been prescribed two milligrams. So the patient details come first. The stock strength we have is 10 milligrams, and this is in 1 mil. 2 times 1 equals 2, divided by 10. And here we can use the trick that dividing by 10, the decimal point goes back one place. So here it is in its starting position, and we go back one place. And so my answer is... 0.2 ml. And let's see what this looks like on a syringe. And I shall find 0.2. It's a very small amount. Here's question number two. Once again, our patient needs to be given three milligrams. The stock comes as 10 milligrams, and this time it's in two mils. Here, I would do the multiplying across the top first. So three times two equals six. And we still have to divide by 10. We remember the trick for dividing by 10 is to bring the decimal point back one place to the left. Here's its starting position, and it goes back one place. And so our answer is 0.2 mil. Question number three. 
0.6 ml. Nice and easy, this dividing by 10 trick. Here's question number three. This time, our patient needs 80 milligrams of tramadol for pain relief. The stock available is 100 milligrams and it's in 2 mil. Once again, I'd save this 100 up for the trick at the end and so I'll do 80 times 2 first which is 160 and we still have divided by 100 and this time I'll bring the decimal point back two places to the left because I'm dividing by 100. Here's the starting position and the decimal point comes back 1, 2 and so my final answer will be 1 0.6 ml. Here's question number four. 40 units of insulin have been prescribed for the patient. It is dispensed as 100 units in one mil. How much do you give? We're going to refer to the formula again. And you may feel confused by the use of the word units, but providing we have units in both parts of the equation, it's fine. They're just the same as milligrams in a way. So, 40 units have been prescribed for the patient. The stock strength is 100 units. So these units have lined up and it's in one mil. In this question here, I can divide 40 by 100 by bringing the decimal point back two places to the left. Here's the starting position, and it will jump. One, two. So our final answer for this one is 0 0.4 ml. Here's question number five. The patient needs 250 micrograms of drug X. You have one milligram in one mil. How many ml do you give? This question's got a little bit more difficulty in it because we can see that the patient needs 250 micrograms. And our stock strength is in milligrams. Now we must, for this formula to work, we must turn the milligrams into micrograms. And you should know that one milligram is 1,000 micrograms. And it's in one mil. And once again, I can use the trick for dividing by 1,000, but this time moving the decimal point back to the left three places. So here's the starting position for the decimal point, and I'll go back three. One, two, three. And so our answer for this one is 0 0.25 ml. Notice how we don't need this zero at the end.